Right, today I am going to try drawing from a photo of Michael Gove. Now, I start off with where his eyes and nose is going to be. It isn't shown very well, so I'm starting to try to press harder on the pencil so you can see. Obviously, I should have just panned and zoomed at this point, but as usual, I bloody forgot. So anyway, uh, the way I see Michael go is that his head, the caricature weight, when you have heard me talking about caricature weight, is at the top. And he's got a very weak chin, so I am going to aim for that, the, the very little weak chin at the bottom. And I'm also going to notice his earlobes are massive. They are like bloody boulders hanging off the end of his ears. It's a wonder you don't drag them across the ground when he walks. Anyway, as usual, I have opened a reference picture in my laptop so that I can look as I'm drawing. And I open it up in Sketchbook Pro so I can enlarge the photo. Now, in this one, I have, I'm still trying to draw as quickly as I can. I'm probably wrong and shouldn't. I shouldn't really. I should get accurate first and faster, but I can't seem to stop myself trying to draw everything as quickly as possible. And to be honest, this, I think that is a great thing to be able to just quickly draw someone from just looking at them just to get the likeness so as quickly as possible. If I was doing detailed obviously I would spend a lot of time on it. I think I am getting a bit of a likeness as I go but I am no I did bugger up his hair. I should have well, I'll talk about it later at the end of the video, but I should have paid more attention to his hair and I should have added more emphasis on the glasses because, yes, he's got glasses on, but they're not accurate descriptions of his glasses. But as usual, I just feel that it's only a bit of paper, so if it goes wrong, I'll just do it again. It's just practice. That's what I keep t -t -t telling myself. Now the little I feel the the that's crease from the bottom of the nose to the top of the lip, I can't remember what it is called, but in a lot of the photos I've seen of him, he's got a very thin and long one, doesn't show so much in this photo, but it seemed to be relevant in most photos I looked at of him, so before choosing which one to draw from, so even though it doesn't really show in this photo, I have decided to add it in my drawing. Now the dip, the pen I am using is uh, the brush pens. Uh -huh. I've forgotten what they're called already. So I will. I'll get there in the end. Faber, Faber Castell picked artist pens. Now I've really got the glasses wrong because the style of his glasses doesn't have that bridge across the nose like that. But it's done now, so it's just going to it's going as it is. As I've already inked it now, but obviously my observation really does need a lot of 
practicing. Now he does seem to have a bit of a pouty mouth. His bottom lip looks like he's been thrown out of the tuck shop at school to, to me. Now I will say that I was going to do this in pastels. That was the plan, but within five minutes I'd got my bloody art sticks out and even though I moan like buggery since my health, my hands out become not so good, I keep threatening to stop using them because I just don't have the pressure in my fingers to get the best out of them. A tiny little body and then I will soon be able to get started. Now I think I got a bit of a likeness. It's not the most accurate likeness but I think this, I can't remember what this took me now because I'm adding the uh, voice track afterwards but I think it's about nine, ten minutes, ten minutes to do it all, the colouring as well to draw it, ink it and colour it. So I've got my hands moving a bit faster. Shame that observation never went with it but that's the way it is. I still haven't found my brushing my brush that I used to brush away the eraser. I'm bucket if I know where I put it. But still that is the way things go round here. It's probably my missus put it somewhere tidy. I think sometimes my Leslie deliberately messes screws with my head just to amuse herself during the day. Anyway, I've started off with a skin tone, skin uh, peach art sticks, and I find it best to, when I remember to, to go round, uh, round the edges first and then go across it lighter so that I'm getting the shade and the, the shading part and the lighter in together then I like to shade between the eyebrow and the top of the eyelid I like to get a bit of shading under the nose and I like to get a, like a, a very light brown, just add a bit more shade in it. Of course this should all be done in a system really I suppose but <coughs> these things happen, I forget most things that I do so this is how it's going. Now I think I used this yeah, like a metallic grey art sticks for the hair. Not because they're particularly any good, it's basically it's the only one I've got that does grey at the moment. I've, I should get some more really, but more money to spend when I can make do with other things. I've got some new pencils in and they come with graphite sticks. So I'm going to see if I can shade with them in probably one of the next videos. Uh, I've more or less got there now to the end of it and I've I think it's probably I'm faster because I've drawn smaller. I seem to my drawing seems to have got smaller these days than it, I used to use the whole page up but I'm not, I don't know if it's because I spend more time practicing my caricature these days but for some reason I seem to be drawing smaller anyway what I'm pointing to here is the hair it should I'm sort of thinking I should have brought it up higher that way and brought it his parting 
more to the right. I really am de disappointed with the lack of accuracy on his glasses when I drew it. As you can see from, well, he's got, they're not the same as what I've drawn him. But I think I have got the sort of hard done by look that he's got. Like, chucked out the puck tuck shop as I said before. Now I start to try to improve these glasses but really I'm not doing really much help. There's not a lot I can do with it really because I've made the bridge really not like his now, his actual glasses. So I think it's time to call this one a day and bash away at something else. Have a practice at another one. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. My voice is getting better every time I do these videos. Well, I think it is. Bye.